Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to bear witness to the conclusion of a centuries-old quest. They've crossed the darkest stormy seas of ancient time itself, climbed to the dizzy heights of a mounted Pekingese, and braved the privations of an entire week at Butlins. <laughs> so may it please thee to switch off thy mobile phones, attend silently, and be in all readiness to bestow the joyous greeting of applause unto the timely arrival at ye oldie and surty venue name Heary of Stapled to a Chicken! It's great, seriously. <laughs> great opening words. So, who's got the chicken? Keith, did you bring the chicken? What? No, we're not stable to a chicken. Well, we are stable to a chicken, but there's no chicken actually involved, Sue. Well, how can we be stable to a chicken, then? Um, our name is stable to a chicken. Oh! You mean like Jamie, Sue, Keith, stapled onto a chicken? We still need the chicken then, don't we? There is no chicken involved. It's a metaphorical chicken, so yeah, metaphorical. Are there staples? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, did you know there's no staples? Oh, you'll be telling me that there's no chicken next. Oh, it's not, apparently. <sighs> strong opening, guys, strong opening. Move on. Yes, perhaps we'd better get on with the subject at hand. Brilliant. What is the subject at hand, Jamie? Oh, because we're at the hand, we're at the tip of the bush. So, yeah. thank you. Um, it is... Ah, history. Yeah, history. Yeah, right, right. So, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, we noticed. Right, what's the first sketch? Hmm? What? Sketch. We were, sketch. We were all supposed to write sketches for this evening's show. Right. I've already sketches. written 47. 47 <laughs> sketches? <laughs> yeah, and that's just this afternoon. But we can't use just my material. Why not? Well, we need some other material, some subpar sketches, if you will, that we can force the audience to sit through so they fully appreciate my well-crafted gags. Right. <laughs> yep. So, um, what have you got? I've got one idea for a sketch, actually. Oh, good. Yep. It's, uh, it's a little bit historic because it's based on Shakespeare, right? Right. Okay. It goes like this. I've got a hunch I'm not going to like this. <laughs> <laughs> now is the thermally challenged season of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of your... I don't know, it's your problem. Not and all the... Guys, I'm trying to do my sketch, so will you button it, please? You're ruining it. Psst, didn't need our help. Oi! <laughs> this is a great sketch. I don't know what your problem is. It's like I'm Richard III, yeah, but I'm like the politically correct version of Richard yeah, III. Okay, and okay. I don't... What? No one's going to get this. There's this brilliant line coming up about canine audio harassment. Yeah, I know, I've heard it. It's not. All right, Sue, so what have you got? Ooh, okay, right. Okay. Imagine I'm dressed as Cleopatra. I'm oh, trying Cleopatra. to. Is this Elizabeth Taylor Cleopatra or Glenda Jackson? Ooh, which one's pretty? Glenda Jackson. <laughs> this is a classy Cleopatra, okay? It's not one of your modern tits I've heard. Shame. Okay, right, and I'm holding a box. Ooh! Okay, imagine the box. I'm right. visualising. Your box. Yep, okay. So, leave open. I know, yeah. so. Oh, I've got an axe. It's not a viper. Sue. Oh, no. No, no. Sue. You Sue, can't. you can't do that sketch. That's someone else's sketch. It's been done before. And better. Oh, you're not just as clear, Patra. Like I said, better. <laughs> Look, someone must have prepared a sketch. I haven't got any. What do you mean you haven't got any? I did not mean a picture of Pikachu jacking it off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, for God's sake, stop it! I was looking at that, Jamie! on that sketch. Let's just move on. All oh, right, okay. The vein. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Half Fast History, the show where we pride ourselves on making you laugh with minimal effort and outlay on our parts. <laughs> so, without further ado, since everybody here knows what history means, yep. let's plough straight on with the... What? How, how can you not know what history means? 
It means everything that happened before today. Does it? Yes. No, that's where you're wrong, Jamie. History that doesn't mean that at all. Not much about history. Thank you, Sue. Um, as I'm not sure you're aware, history comes from the uh, the Greek word historia, which means uh, the discovery of new knowledge through research. So essentially, history means science. History means science. Yeah. So what does science mean? Maths? No, 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 no. Surely science means science. So not much about no, science. Science just means the stuff you know. But I do know what and what is to. So science does mean maths. Brilliant. Ah, well, fine. So we can all agree on that, and as we're all agreed, let's move straight on with the show. And the first and opening sketch for you, uh, in which I will be portraying King Leonidas of Sparta! Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Where did that come from? Sparta! <laughs> yeah, but... What? What's your point? Why have you suddenly decided you're playing King Leonides? Well, I've always wanted to play King Leonides, and yesterday, when Sue and Bob and I were playing Thermopylae, um, I, I had to mention that I wanted to be King Leonides of Sparta, and, uh, and they said it was a brilliant idea, let's put it right at the start of the show, and no. so that's what we're doing. Yeah, but um, you can't. Why not? Let's just say that it's um, a bit of a tall order. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Leonides was six foot four. And your point is? <laughs> um, you don't have the right build, Keith. Hey, I've been down the gym working out on everything. And that makes you taller, does it? Oi! I'm not having that. That's blatant heightest discrimination. I'm going to play King Leonides of Sparta. I'm not going to disappoint my public. I'm going to get changed, and you lot, you better get ready too. I mean, I'm, no, I'm sorry. Because if we just limit the show just to characters we can convincingly impersonate, then the whole thing's just going to be pretty short, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sue. Sorry, Sue. Okay, then, so by that token, yes. I can play Queen Jadis, can't I? Because I've got a white costume. I'm, I'm sorry, Sue, but what part does the White Witch of Narnia play in history? Care to enlighten us all? She was in World War II, wasn't she? They got evacuated through the wardrobe, yeah, didn't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. well, when the kids in year five they had the gas masks and everything. Yes, that's true. No. No witch costumes. Just go and get ready for this bloody Thermopylae sketch. Go on. God, you're bossing at the neck. <sighs> right, come on, Bob. Surely there has to be some other people that we can impersonate for this show. No idea. You're a fountain of ideas, Bob. Well, help me narrow it down. Narrow it down? Yeah. How? Geographically. Geogra okay. Yeah, geographically. All right, name a famous German. <coughs> no, he was Austrian. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mozart. Also Austrian. Oh, I don't know, then uh, Arnold bloody Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> Austrian and not historical. Well, he travels through time, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Hermann Goering. Who's yeah, that? You know, the cross-dressing Nazi. Alright, oh, yeah, that sounds alright. Alright, sure. now name a famous Russian. Uh, ha! Rudolf... Nureyev. Rudolf Nureyev. Who's that? He's a dancer. Come on. No? Brezhnev. Brezhnev. Who's that? He's the eyebrows man, man for the eyebrows. Well, okay. surely everyone has eyebrows. <laughs> Alright. For us, Putin man. Yeah, all right, then he'll do. All right, thank all you. Right. Uh, now let's move on to a famous Belgian. Come on, you're taking the piss now. No, no, in all honesty, a famous Belgian. Tintin. No, he has to be real. Hercule <laughs> Poirot. <laughs> As in actually alive at some past point. I don't know, the, the bloke who invented the buns, the Belgian buns. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, the guy who made the chocolates. Jamie! 